Hey guys, today I'm sitting down with one of my brilliant peers at Fudan University, Shen, a year three English and Chinese major. Shen is an executive committee member at the Fudan Forensic Society, otherwise known as TRIEF. She's also a debater and she's a fantastic and really humble person. She shared her views on the issue of mental health, her plans for the future as someone in their penultimate year of college, some advice for to be final year high school students amongst various other topics. So it was a really fruitful chat and hopefully you enjoy it just as much as I did. Actually, uh I wasn't committed in learning English. I was just too lazy to do other things. Uh, I chose Boston because I was too lazy to learn anything in high school. And when I finally realized the importance of grade point average back then, I have already failed several courses. The policy of Boston literally saved me. In my high school, the only result of two tests mattered, and that's why I chose Boston. I was very, very lucky. My grades were getting a little bit better when I got closer to the big test. But at this point, I still have no idea how my grades got me into food. Time. So I'm definitely not very, not a very intelligent person. Yes, that's for sure. Right. But then I, from what I've heard chatting with um, food and peers, it seems like Bao Song itself inside the school is it's pretty competitive. Uh, is yes, it is actually quite competitive. Uh, all my peers are really good at literally everything, uh, and I'm just very lucky to get in. I guess uh, it's a competition within each school, and the policy really helps me because I'm a little bit better in English than in other subjects. So the policy it helps. Right, but then so. If the competition is this big, how do you get an edge? Did you like start really early? From early on, I mean, going back to Shen when she was five years old or something like that. But when did you like really, you know, decide it or your parents or your family, you know, you did that like deliberate training? Uh, actually, I started really late, like in my, after my second year in high school. I wanted to apply to university in the state, but I had my grade point average is terrible, so I chose Boston instead. I guess that's not the ideal route, but that's the one I choose. Right, but then before then, did you like you know it? It couldn't have been the case, right? Like you only starting in your like second year in high school. Before that, did you read anything? Did any English activities? Those sorts of stuff. Uh, uh, when talking about studying English, I started very young, at a very very young age, probably in kindergarten. So I always had a head start uh, in the subject of English, but probably nowhere else, just English. And this test, it actually cares a lot about your grade in English. And I guess that's what helped me. So your family was like very, you know, they they focused you like they turned your focus to English at a young age. I guess. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I graduated from Shanghai Foreign Language Primary School, so you can see that um, right. ever since my primary school, they care a lot about English. Right. But then, aside from the school stuff, is there like you know extracurricular activities you turn to, like your interests or your hobbies? I watch a lot of TV series, but I don't think that's a very good thing to talk about because I spent way oh, too much is. time on TV series. I, I think it actually is. Like, what did you? Because I think like did did that got you like more interested in English? Ah, uh, yes, I guess. Uh, I watched. Probably all Disney TV series right. when I was in middle school and high school, and I watched a lot of superhero uh, animations and as well as comic books and uh, TV series, movies, etc. It helped, I guess. Right, I think it 
definitely did. But then, um, like, did those act uh, did, like those are more of your like what you do in your spare time, I guess. Yeah. Then yeah, at school, do you get to like join any clubs? Like, cause you're you're a you're an experienced debater, and and you're in the like triath. So you must to do like do something similar back then in primary school, secondary school. Uh, yeah, in high school, I uh, dabbled in modern United Nations and had some fun there. But I, I'm not a big fan of competition, so I'm just there to have some fun. I did actually, and so you know, I'm having fun with debates nowadays. I guess modern United Nations helped, uh, but I think now that I see it, I don't know enough to participate in the modern United Nations. I'm just doing something really cool based on my very shallow understanding of the world, which is definitely not the case. Uh, but having fun there is very important and I met a lot of them. So that was back in your middle high school day? Yeah. High school. Oh, high school. So only, not until high school did you like join your first club, I assume? Like uh, your first activity. Yeah, uh, I tried other activities, but I didn't stick, stick to it for a long time. So yeah. MUN became yeah. your thing. Yeah, it became my thing. But probably not the thing I'm good at, but the thing that I had fun with, yeah. Right. So talking about like you not being good at it which i i'm pretty surprised um yeah so what exact like um aside from like not knowing enough in the mun were that were there any like other roadblocks along the way uh other roadblocks i think after i entered university i had several but before that i guess it was pretty smooth, it was pretty smooth. Uh, i didn't have a lot of experience back to me, so everything seemed smooth to me. Uh, after I entered university, I realized that all my peers are really, really hardworking, and that's when I hit my roadblocks. I had this feeling that I don't deserve to be here. Like, literally every day, I feel like I don't deserve to be in this university. And I realized that I have really... My language, my written language is bad, both in Chinese and in English, and that is a roadblock, but only after entering university, I guess. Right. So you, you said you double major then, English and Chinese, because... Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, because I'm... Uh, so I chose English because I have to choose a foreign language, and I'm too lazy to learn any other language. So I chose English, but that's not the story I tell the interviewers. So that, that's just closer to the reality, but uh, okay. yeah, I just am too lazy to learn another language. And for Chinese, it's that uh, when I realized I'm really I'm bad at it, I think I need somewhere, like some teacher to teach me, or else I won't have the opportunity to study. Chinese like that. So I had Chinese as a double major. It's fun. Right. Then, so yeah, it's great to hear them. Then it's been pretty smooth. Like, I mean, not until university, right? Then the first yeah. 18 or so years were yeah. pretty fun. Yeah. I, All right. I, um, I think I have a much clearer knowledge of myself that I have average or less than average intellect, but I am a really big winner in the birth lottery. So I was born in a family in Shanghai, which is a big city, and my parents actually pay a lot of attention to education. So I guess uh, anyone else in my street would do better than what I'm doing right now. So I'm not sure it makes any sense. Well, I don't. It does. Um, Yes, right. I don't like, think I put like, into a lot of effort, but just I'm lucky, I guess. Right, but then I so like your neighborhood, the, the street, 
like your neighbors you mean they all do well as well i guess that's cool um, i guess i'm just average still right. average always average but i i'm okay with it right if you're average then i can't really imagine like uh, what your peers are like um but so so does this um i guess bother you too much then um, like, i guess no because i wasn't a top student starting from primary school after university i volunteered in sichuan a little uh a tiny little it's not a tiny high school but a school in a uh, very small area there and i realized there that the students there are very smart probably a lot of them are smarter than me but because they don't have this kind of opportunity that i have they cannot get into a very good university so i guess the opportunity is what matters the most instead of uh intellect or something right but then still you said like within bao song like yeah. this policy that that benefited you then you still you, you still face a lot of competition so yeah. so i suppose you still have to fight for that opportunity uh yes i fought for it for a very short period of time but i did uh try to do some tests and uh, just practice a lot of uh, things that were supposed to be in the test i guess i did putting some effort regarding this.